Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to find the values of a and b which make a function differentiable at a given x value. So, for a function to be differentiable at a point, it must be continuous at a point, which means that uh, this piecewise function must equal itself from the left and from the right, which means that we can set ax plus b, ax plus b, equal to bx squared minus 1. All right, and since we know we're working with x equals negative 1, we can go ahead and substitute in negative 1. So what we get is negative a plus b equals b minus 1 because we substituted negative 1 for x. Now we can subtract b on both sides, so we get negative a equals negative 1 and a would equal 1. Okay, so we have a now, but we also need b. So now we know that a equals 1 makes this function continuous at x equals negative 1. So we have to check uh, what values of a and b make this function differentiable at x equals negative 1. So we can go ahead and write the same thing we wrote here, ax plus b equals bx squared minus 1. All right. And now we can go ahead and take the derivative. So we have a is equal to 2bx. All right. So the derivative of this part is just a because the derivative of uh, x to the power of 1 is just the coefficient, which is a. And the derivative of b is just 0 because b is a constant. And the derivative of bx squared is 2bx because of the power rule. And the derivative of negative 1 is 0 because negative 1 is a constant. All right. So now we have the values of a and the value and uh, x equals negative 1. So we can go ahead and substitute negative 1 and 1. So a equals 1 is equal to 2 times b times negative 1. All right. Now we only have one variable, which is b. So we go ahead and isolate b. So once we isolate b, we get negative 1 half equal to b. But we aren't done yet. We still have to check to make sure these values work. All right. So we have ax plus b equals bx squared minus 1. So we can go ahead and substitute all our values. So a equals 1, x equals negative 1, and b equals negative a half. All right. And once we substitute all these values, we can see that the left side equals the right side. Negative 1 plus negative 1 half is equal to negative 1 half plus negative 1 because of the commutative property of addition. All right. So now we also have to check that the derivative of the function is equal to each other. So ax plus b is equal to bx squared minus 1. And the derivative is a for the left side, as explained earlier, which is equal to 2bx because of the power rule. And when we substitute all the values in, we have 1 is equal to 2 times negative 1 half times negative 1. And over here, the 2's cancel out. And negative 1 times negative 1 is simply just 1. So we've just proved that it works. So A is equal to 1, and B is equal to a negative half.